Hi guys, everyone knows the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 is an incredible car. I mean, I own one. Now, Porsche have gone and worked some magic and upgraded it to the GT4 RS. But what actually is the differences between the two? Let's find out. off with the most important thing the price tag now unfortunately i don't know what the price of my gt4 was out of the factory so we're going to go with the porsche gb press car in frozenberry that we've had before now that one as a base model comes in at seventy-eight thousand pounds but as you go up with all the optional extras it's coming in at ninety-seven thousand pounds the gt4 rs however is coming in at one hundred twenty-three thousand pounds base spec all the additional extras like the WISAC package, the carbon ceramic brakes, is adding up to a whopping £145,000. So is it really worth the upgrade of £50,000? So that's actually if you can get one of these brand new and not with the inflation on Autotrader. With engines and performance, the GT4, we have a 4 litre flat 6, giving us 420 brake horsepower and 420 newton metres of torque. Now this engine is actually from the turbo, but with no turbos on it. Whereas the GT4 RS, we're going to find 500 horsepower and 450 newton metres of torque from a 4 litre flat 6. But this engine is actually from a GT3. The best thing about the standard GT4 is the fact that you get a 6 speed manual as an option over the 7 speed PDK. Now the manual will see a 0 to 60 time in 4.4 seconds and red lines at 8,000 RPM. For the RS, Porsche ditched the six-speed manual, so you can only get it in the seven-speed PDK dual clutch. Now, not to 60 time, we're looking at 3.4 seconds, and it redlined at a whopping 9,000 RPM. That's just crazy. They've even managed to make the RS a whopping five kilograms lighter, making it 1,415 kilograms. Airflow from the design of the RS is just incredible. There's a lot of different features compared to the GT4 that make a huge difference. Now we have the carbon fibre bonnet with the air vents here which actually cool down the brakes. You've got the ducts on the front wing here which actually reduce the pressure in the wheel arch and stop the front from lifting when you're really pushing it. Now as we move along here, my favourite feature is the inlet here. Now this is actually for the air intake so you're going to hear some amazing noises right behind your head in the driver's seat. As we come around, again, what most people love about the biggest difference is the swan neck spoiler. And this is all contributing towards a really smooth airflow and 20% more downforce than the GT4. Now, the GT4 chassis is excellent on its own, but Porsche have gone and made it even better with the RS with some simple tweaks. Now, they've actually dropped it 10 millimeters, stiffened the springs and uprated the dampers plus increase the camber to help the front tuck in and reduce understeer. You'll even find the front is a six millimeter wider track and eight millimeter at the rear. You've got hollow anti-roll bars and carbon fiber drop links. As we come into the inside, you have the yellow center marker on your steering wheel as standard. Now this was a 150 pound optional extra on my car. Makes sense. Now you get the bucket seats as standard, but you can actually get the normal seats free of charge. With this being the WISAC package, we've got a titanium roll cage and carbon fibre exposed not only on the outside, but inside here too. Literally everywhere. You are going to find a difference in boot size as well. So the GT4, we've got a 270 litre boot at the rear, compared to 136 litres in the RS. And things don't stop getting smaller there either. Because where we have 150 litres at the front of the GT4, we only have 125 litres in the front of the RS. And if you're wondering whether all of that difference actually makes a difference out on track, the GT4 RS is 20 seconds quicker round the Nürburgring than the standard GT4. That's pretty impressive. Enough of all the facts and figures. What is the actual drive like to compare? The standard GT4 718 Cayman is just a fantastic car anyway. I mean, the chassis that's been developed is incredible. It handles so well. And having experienced these cars, both on the track and on the road, I can really vouch on what an amazing car they are. So how much better is the GT4 RS going to be? Well, I've wanted to get my hands on one of them for absolutely ages. 
So safe to say I'm really excited to find out. I mean, it's an absolute monster this. The way the front end tucks in, it's it's just so much more aggressive than what the GT4 is and I didn't think that was even possible. Everything from the noise, the acceleration, the grip, the handling. That is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The one problem I'm gonna have though is when I give this back in a few days, mine's gonna feel so tame. When people question, is it worth the 50 grand list price? extra than the GT4. Oh god yeah it is. With the Porsche GT4 being incredible already as it is, Porsche have knocked it out of the park making it even better with the RS. Now for £50,000 difference in list price, the GT4 RS has had loads of innovation and technology and design put into it to make it an incredible package. But until those second hand prices start to drop and level out like the standard GT4, I'm going to just have to take mine home. You guys all know the drill. To make my journey your journey, like, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.